Okay, I wanted to do a brief follow-up. I mentioned that I was behind on the Gemini stuff. And one of the podcast YouTubers that I listened to did a nice summary of where that was at and what happened. He didn't go into a lot of details about what they said was off about their presentation. However, what he did do is he went through and did an examination of comparing ChatGPT versus the new Gemini, and then he put put in the new X XAI um, uh, chatbot, which is Grok. And so I have his link in the description below. I would recommend if you're interested in this that you give him a listen. And I will catch you guys later. It still, to me, seems like it's open AI's show. They are in the lead. They seem to be doing very well. And he didn't mention it, but I think one of the strongest things that they have going for it is that Microsoft has allowed for a pretty good integration of their product into a lot of things. I know Copilot and uh, the side Bing is being used in a lot of my work environment. So, but my work environment is very Windows based. So I'm not sure if this is pervasive throughout much of the industry. Anyways, Talk to you guys later. Like I said, click on the link in the description if you want some details. But, oh, the summary is um, the new Gemini and ChatGPT4 are almost neck and neck on almost everything except Vision. Vision seems to be dominated by ChatGPT4. And Grok seems to do well in but not as well as the others in the comparisons. But he did mention that he did not actually go to Grok's uh, strengths. So that was a, uh, makes it a little bit of an unfair comparison. And he's mentioned several times, this is not intended to be a scientific analysis. Just some fun examples. And I hope you guys enjoy his video. He's, he's a pretty good guy.